your baby what up d rob from facebook what up what up both arm and a my book in the building what's happening for this y'all home you already know what it is baby what up to me Reed, baba no yeah i call your whole government you shouldn't have put it uh what's happening for the greek baby what's up old baby y'all already know baby it's the let me switch for our show the live is live on live i'm gonna hit you with an ultimatum first ultimate ultimatum where y'all just pick between two things that you don't want to pick between. <laughs> and let me see what y'all gonna type in the comments. Or and then after that, I'm going to give y'all a relationship conundrum in which we can work out for y'all. Yeah, y'all already know y'all be here every day, five days a week for two years now, ladies and gentlemen. We've been rocking for two years. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, for over two years, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome so much. You're so welcome. It's alive, it's live on live. I don't know why. I do know why, because there ain't nobody doing it like this. People just on live doing nothing. Talking about nothing, doing nothing, looking at nothing. Ain't reading your comments. They ain't on live doing shit. But Boogie be on live every day. Set your alarm at your house right now for this time, right here, every day. Four minutes before, right now. Set your alarm. And then let it ring every day and say, let me show you how the show is on. What's up, Tim Woods, baby? Tim Wood, putting that wood on him. What's up, brother? Yeah, Sherry L. Thomas, I'm glad you made it. What's up, Sandra Leo from Virginia? My boogie Brian fell through. He ain't been here in a minute. What's happening, y'all? Hope Harmony was good. Yeah, it's been over two years, baby. It's definitely been over two years since I let me stretch you out, show, but I appreciate all y'all who've been rocking with me for so long. Let me ask y'all first then. Let me ask all my book guests, the one who put them little red roses in the chat, because they know I like my roses. While I'm here, we'll get bros with that muscle in the chat, Sandra Leo, you already know. Hold on, baby. Let me see what Leanna Minnis is talking about. What's up, Christian? Yeah, what's up, baby? Oh, pretty little golden self. What's happening? What's up with Linda Williams, my pioneer book guest? Yes. Two years away from 70 years old she is, ladies and gentlemen, and she's still here every day, five days a week at the Let Me Stretch You Out show, and I love her so much. Thank you so much, Linda Williams. You've been taking Black Dingaline for a long time, and I respect you for it. <laughs> yeah, Tim, you from the night one. Been there since the day I was born. Here come the night board. Night board. Hold on, to all y'all. What's up, Toya Moody? Glad you made it, baby. I'm so glad you made it. What's up? I got to ask y'all this real quick. Tell Second line, one time for y'all? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't be messing with them night ball second lines, but you know, I might. You know, you never know. Leanna Minutes, what up, baby? Let me ask you this, Leanna. Let me ask you this, Amy. Let me see all the red roses in the chat. Yeah. Welcome, my partner, Tim Woods, to the chat from the nine. All these ladies be coming every day. 
Hold on, Valencia. Where the hell you been? Hold up, baby. Hold on, Dominique. Leave one out. What the hell is All right. It's a couple of y'all dropping on through. Yeah. 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 Walk with it. Now walk with it. Now walk with it. <laughs> y'all coming on through in the Let Me Stretch You Out show today, baby. I appreciate that. What's up, Alexis Galloway? Yeah. Okay. Let me ask y'all this. Would you rather have a man or a woman to have to hold the love? You already with them. You already in it with them. You already together with them. Would you rather find out that they are a flirt openly or a sneak flirt? Would you rather somebody who you with flirt in your face or flirt behind your back? That's what it boils down to. What's that in Tina Poach? Poche, what is that? Poche. Oh, okay, Tina Poche Williams. What's up, Shawana Shanks, my LGBTQ community representative? What's up, baby? Yeah, this is the ultimate ultimatum. Would you like to have a sneak flirt or an open flirt? This man going to be perfect for you now. Everything else is going to be all right. It's okay. But in the ultimatum of the day, the ultimate ultimatum, would you rather have a sneak flirt or an open flirt? This is the Let Me Stretch You Out Show. Talk to me, ladies and gentlemen. Talk to me from across the globe. Tell me where you're from and what you mean. Tell me where you're from, what you mean, and what you seen. Sneak flirt or open flirt? Which one y'all take? Okay, Rose Hunter says she's taking the old open flirt right in your face. Disrespectful ass mother. Hold on, uh, Lynn, uh, Leanna Minnie. Oh, okay, everybody said they want the open flirt. Okay. Yeah, okay. I ain't think y'all was going to be so quick to fix somebody who flirt right in front of you. Damn. Now, they ain't going to do nothing, so but they going to flirt. Whether you there or not there, they going to flirt. Which one would you rather them do, flirt in front of you or flirt behind your back? Marie, MJZ, I call her uh, MJZ in the chat. That's her initial. Um, to my face so I can curse you out is what she said. She wants you to do it to her face so she can cuss you out. That's all. She ain't a, hey, she would rather see it than just let it be peaceful. What's happening, Nisha? Let me see. Brandon Beverly said, I like an open flirt so I know who I'm really with. Okay. I'd rather you flirt open than going behind my back flirt. Okay. Okay, Nisha Scott. Both of these two going to have their drawbacks. Now, let me tell you that. It ain't no good church in here. It just... These both is messed up if you got somebody who you're with and love and put good dick on you and you flirt with somebody in any way, shape, or form is terrible. But would you rather it be in your face or would you rather it be behind your back? You'll never see. If it gets disrespectful, I know what to do. Boy, bye. Okay, Rose, I'm going to tell them, boy, bye. That's what y'all be saying nowadays. Boy, bye. I don't know why y'all stretch your face so hard when you say, boy, bye. Uh, Tamika Reed Babado said, oh, cousin, look at in my face, baby. You want him to flirt in your face so you can check him out. So y'all can start the war. <laughs> oh, Mom, and said, in my face is straight disrespect. Well, you can at least flirt behind her whole harmony back, she said. She don't want the open flirt. She wants the sneak flirt because she'll never know. Flirt on your own time. Sherry L said, flirt in my face because I'm going to flirt. Oh, Sherry L, I should have known. Oh, boy, boy, every time. I know it's one of y'all in here. A verbal, let me see. Is it a verbal flirt or flirt with eyes or physical flirt? All of the above. Either in your face or behind your back. Yeah, that's how we're going to roll that one. Um, and the roll with the talk, baby. What's up, Nisha? Nisha say, how are you all as well? XOXO. Okay, Nisha. Yeah, what's up, Tiffany? Oh, I got a new Tiffany in here. Tiffany, I'm sure what's up, baby. Oh, that's an Aries. I should have known. Y'all did. Y'all Aries be doing the same shit. Yeah, y'all. If y'all see somebody flirting around you, you just going to flirt around them and try to play the jealous game. Oh, y'all bitch. Woo, y'all start getting petty when somebody start cheating on, start flirting around you. Rosaria, what's up, baby? Rosaria, hold on. Greetings from Pensacola, Florida. Pensacola, thank you for coming on in here, baby. But let me ask you this. Would you rather your man be an open flirt, flirt in front of your eye, disrespectfully? Or would you rather your man be a sneak flirt in which he sneaked behind your back and you'll never catch him flirting? 
What'd you say, Sherry L? Sherry L, them little nasty Aries, don't play that. Them little petty Aries ain't gonna do you like that. Them Aries, see you flirting around them, they gonna flirt too. Let me see. I know you would rather not have neither Mavius, what this say, Mavius Mar Maria? Mavius Maria, baby, this is the ultimate ultimatum. You gotta have one of them. Ain't no two ways about it. Which one you're picking? A sneak flirt or the open flirt? Put your answer in the comments. Let me read it out loud. Let me see what you're going to say. What's up, Alexis Galloway, baby? Yeah, I know, Alexis. I know. I know how y'all do. Woo. Let me see what month it is. Is Gemini month? Is it, or is it cancer yet? I think it's still them old Gemini the twins month right now. Them little Geminis, them ones too now. Sneak flirts. They ain't gonna flirt in front of your face, but behind your back, them Gemini be flirting their ass off. Gemini is a flirty sign. I don't know if y'all know that. Gemini woman, she walk with her titties bouncing everywhere. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's flirt. Gemini woman, oh my God. They can't stop smiling. They just a smiley kiki and a smiley kiki. You be like, no, nah, them damn shit. They don't get jealous because the Gemini's make that. They just, they just a bee. Don't get jealous. Tamika Reed said, what? Hold on, Tamika said, I'm a what? What that thing is? And uh, I'm doing the same thing. Well, a lot of us have some commonalities, Tamika. However, some of them is known for doing certain shit. Some of like Gemini known for being flirtatious. Sorry. Yeah. You say you get jealous. Hold on, bro. Now this done turned into the Zodiac show. Y'all stop putting all these signs in here. What the hell I look like? Astrologer? Astrologer is? I ain't no astrologer is. I'm a damn comedian. I don't know all that shit. I just know the girls I can deal with. What's the end of Tamika? I'm a Libra too. Libra gang on some bang. What's up, Anidra? I'm all your late. Put you right on time for the crime. Uh, open flirt it is. All right, so most of y'all would rather have the open flirt. Let me see. Okay, Dominique. Okay. Okay, MJV. A sneaky flirt. If it's her, I, I know I'm both. Okay. You would rather have a sneaky flirt if it's her. Oh, also said the Leo Rose of Genius said he the sneak, he the, he the sneak flirt and the open flirt. But if he have the pick for his old lady, which one is gonna be? He would rather you be a sneak flirt. Yeah. Uh huh. Why would you want her to be a sneak flirt? That means you'll never know she flirts with nobody. No say gang. Okay, all right, all right. Well, RJ, don't get any gang banging about your times. I don't know what's wrong. Uh, Hope Harmon is saying, uh, Linda Williams, my best friends are Aries. Oh, Lord. I should have started this Aries, boy. Y'all ain't gonna never let it out. Let me see. Um, I am not an astrologer. Yes. I am not astrologer. Yeah. That's what they're supposed to say. I think. The proper word is, I am not astrologer. <laughs> Meaning, I am not well versed in the language of astrology. I just know the whole. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a flirt all the time, Maria Davis said. Open and behind your mate back. Oh, Maria, you a dirty old. You a dirty old bridge girl. Ooh. What what you say what I look like? Thin uh thin Shawana Shanks finish. Uh hope all this in my husband. Oh Lord. And the last sentence is a full fact. I don't mind it. Your husband is here. Yeah, them damn every day. I know that for, for just past history. I never looked this up. I could be wrong. I'm just saying, yeah, some of y'all is some flirty flirts. Now, which one would I rather have? You flirt in my face or flirt where I ain't never going to see it, Cheryl, if I love you, baby? Jeff, hold on, Jeff. Let me ask my partner, Jeff Johnson. He just came in here. Jeff Johnson, double J in the view line. Welcome, brother. Which one would you pick? A sneak flirt girl or an open flirt girl? She gonna flirt in front of your face if she open flirt. Right while y'all at the restaurant, she gonna be like, well, hey, Mr. Boogie B, how are you? You're so handsome today. I saw your little comedy spiel. Your show was sexy. Yeah, I told him he's down all day today. 
Right in your face, Jeff. Which one you gonna do? The sneak flirt or the open flirt? Sneak flirt, not meaning that she not being flirtatious, meaning that you just don't know she flirts. Every time she flirts. Which one would you rather have? Matching petty for petty, Brandon Beverly said. Jeff Johnson, it's a hard one, ain't it? Would you rather have a girl flirt in front of your face or flirt behind your back? Ooh. Rosaria, what's happening, baby? I would hope I'm an up woman that he doesn't flirt at all. But if he does, I prefer upfront and open flirting. After all, it's inevitable and a part of human nature. Okay. So y'all would rather y'all man just be right in front of you, macking bitches down. <laughs> he look at he right in front of you, looking at a girl like, yeah, so what's that? Yeah, you know, get that ball with you. Yeah, you gonna give that little you know? <laughs> Right in front of you. Y'all just want the disrespect. Serial said, I'm very flirtatious, so I understand when I see something I'm going to look, but still have respect. No, I'm talking about blatant flirting in front of you with your knowledge or without your knowledge. That's the only thing we be talking about. They gonna flirt. You can't stop. What's up, Jason Livers? Which one would you rather have? A woman who will flirt? Behind your back or further in front of your back? <laughs> Why people don't say in front of your back? Because if it is it's behind your back, it's supposed to be in front of your back. Because you still in front of your back. Or is this is behind your back in front of your back? Wait a minute. How that shit go? What's happening? Mac and bitches down in front of you, Maria Davis. Would you rather have a, would I rather have a woman in front with dudes in front of me? Or flirt with dudes behind my back? Oh, James Todd. Hold on, Jeff. Hold up. All y'all niggas. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You telling me I got to pick a woman who's going to either flirt right in while I can feel. I'm looking right at a flirt with a nigga. Or, and it's all the time, too, forever. Or she going to sneak and flirt with niggas where I don't know. I ain't, I might not never catch her. Huh. What's up, John Vivian Jones McCullough? This is a tough one for me. Um, that open flirt gonna get that. That it it might be different for men and women because when a when a woman flirt in the open, that means she's trying to. Uh, think about it, fellas. Women don't really be flirting like that, especially not in front of a man. Oh, man, I'm standing right there. My partner's tapping me and shit. Look at your girl. Look at your lady. Look at your lady. Look at your lady. Look at your lady. Oh, hell no. You're going to throw me in the cross. Oh, you know what? Uh, I don't know about this. Yeah, no, I think it might be different for men and women, Vice President. I don't think I could stump. I don't think I could stomach watching up flirt with somebody. So I don't know about this one. It's best to know. How she carries herself, big brother. So you would rather me see her doing it all the time. We ain't gonna bring up, but me just keep seeing her doing the same shit in front of me over and over and over. And over. Or be doing it without my knowledge behind my back. Uh, flirting is different because it's not really cheating yet, but flirting sometimes do lead to cheating. So that goes without saying that something could happen in either case. Whether she flirting in your face or behind your back, she can still sneak off and get some feet. E this a tough one. Don Vivian, I mean, yeah, Don Vivian Jones McCullough said, my husband, boyfriend at the same time would send me off to get drinks back in the day. My husband, boyfriend at the time. I must be misconstruing this sentence because this sounds like my husband, boyfriend at the time. Was he your husband now and then your boyfriend back then? Yeah, you got to put a comment in between that or something because you sound like you saying my husband boyfriend. Like your husband old man. Like your husband got a nigga on the side. Yeah, that, that ain't coming out right for me. Yeah, you got to retype that one. I can't even really understand that. Let me see. Dominique said, right, men who flirt with me with their woman next to me makes me feel embarrassed for the woman. Yeah, it definitely creates an uncomfortable... Oh, okay, it's your husband now. Okay, so your husband used to let you do what? No, I don't understand that. Anyway, Jason, let me tell you something. Oh. 
two security within itself. Okay, let me go. Men who flirt with him, yeah, that create a thing. When you flirt with a man in front of your man, oh God, that's possibly like the worst hurt that you could. You might well have to pull a dingling out and suck it in front of me if you're going to do that. If you're going to be flirting with dudes, it's going to hurt me to think. Uh, in front of me? Uh-uh. I'd rather you sneak and do it. Me. I'd rather, uh, Jeff. Oh, Jeff. I don't want to see it. I want to see it after it done went down. I want to see it after you done cheated on me. Don't have me in public. Make sure y'all order my Let Me Stretch You Out Mardi Gras beads, ladies and gentlemen. As I put my things on right now, put my Mardi Gras beads, the purple, the green, and the gold. Mardi Gras beads, let me stretch you out, light up with the Boogie Beat logo. Yeah, order my shit. Let me see. Damn, it ain't for the, it ain't that deep. It is that deep. See, I flirt with girls with my guys. Oh, oh, oh. I like flirting with girls with my guys. Okay, Kizzy. Okay, that's Kizzy Coco Loco, baby. Kizzy, I remember your last day. Ooh, Kizzy. I, that Kizzy used to be posting the pictures of her. She be posting pictures of her booty sometimes, smoking weed with her titties out. You used to be posting some nasty stuff on your Facebook, too. Y'all y'all make sure y'all follow old Kizzy. I don't know if she still be posting like that, Jason, but the one that he come in, that's been my own girl for a minute. I used to scroll past her page. She's smoking a blunt with her titties out. She little see-through outfits, nipples sprouting out. Nasty. She says she be flirting with girls while she with her dude. Well, you know, yeah, kids didn't know how to get down, you know what I'm saying? That's a different type of lifestyle. You know, I told you, sometimes this could be different for men than women. Because ain't no way no woman going to let their man flirt with no nigga in front of her. Yeah, so you you mean to tell me, Maria Davis, you want to just let your man go to the male strip club and get a lap dance from a nigga? Get his number, tell him, hey, let's hook up and fuck more, lady. Yo, you think that's going down in, in America? I don't think so. It ain't happening like that too often. I mean, it do happen, but not too often. It ain't going to be too often women going to hold on for that. But definitely happens on the man's side. Give me Coco Loco, be going to that strip club, getting lap dances, putting the money in the girl vagina, all kinds of stuff. Nasty. Yeah, she be taking a dollar bill, putting them damn near, put the kid, the girl crotch. Like, oh, Lord, yeah. Poochie. Poochie say he a natural, a natural flirt. I'm respectful when I'm in a relationship. Now, most people are a natural flirt. This goes without saying. It's a part of human nature. When you see something, you be nice to it. It comes off as flirting or whatever. I can understand that. But blatant flirting in front of your man can be detrimental to both of y'all health. If you sneak and flirt, Renee Jackson, I will never know. It don't involve me until you done actually cheated. You might be flirting to get some free ties for your car. You might be flirting to get out of a ticket. You might be using that coochie to get what you want. That's If I don't know about it, then that's on you. You ain't, you ain't cheated. You just flirted to get something. I would rather not see it. Now, if I have to see it, if I have to stomach it, I'm, it better be mercy. It better be the police better be that got me. The police better be the guy behind us when we got two kilos of cocaine before you come flirt with the police in front of me. Hey, whoa, whoa, we must got drugs on us. You sure flirt with him hard to get out of this damn ticket. Damn, you act like I ain't in this damn car. Shoot, I ain't gonna, I don't do all that. No, don't flirt in front of me, baby. I'll ride you if you're flirtatious, because some of y'all ladies is naturally flirtatious. Dominique, come on now. You know how they be. They be bouncing, titties, smiling, smelling good. Come up, hey, how you doing? Hey, Boogie. Hello, how are you? I'm like, damn, you just shaking your titties, clapping your booty every time you take a step to the side. All kind of little slick shit y'all be doing first. And y'all don't even act like you did that. You like, what? What? I ain't flirting this I always say. 
Yeah, that's how they be doing. They act like they don't know what they do. They do, they do it so much. And I would rather you did it on your own company time. Don't do it on my watch. Don't do that on my watch. Flirt with them niggas, which I would never know. I'd rather you just go ahead, flirt, cheat if you're going to do it. Whatever you're going to do, do it where I ain't looking. I don't want to catch you. I don't want to see you. It ain't going to hurt me too much. You say, my dude don't mind me looking, of course, at guys because he knows I'm not worried about a, a, a other dudes. And you're confident with him. I smile at a guy when I notice I flirted or common hello, beautiful, you know. Okay, Kissy, well, I mean, that ain't really, that's a mild form of flirting, you know. It ain't that deep. That ain't nothing for that, with, you know, that's normal shit. Nah, flirting is, that's more of a little more, you know, it ain't that I used to ask. You know, women, y'all have to say more than um, just hello in order to be considered flirt. Some of y'all say flirt in the word hello. So anything after that, you trying to suck the dick. Yeah, I ain't playing that. Hell no. Hey, what's up, Brandon Beverly? Kiss the Coco. You ain't been in a long time either, baby. Where the hell you been? I should be worried about what you been up to. See, that's how you do, kids. When you were single, you were coming to my Let Me Stretch You Out show every day. Soon as you got on that bird, soon you let that dealing consume you, you stop coming to the damn Let Me Stretch You Out show to the day. That's a damn shame how you do your, your friends out here. You put up, you put up down when you soon you get a dealing. Hey, don't, uh, ladies, y'all already know if they'll do it to Boogie B, they'll do it to you too. Y'all already know, ladies, y'all be prime witnesses. You stop talking to him from the girl for months. You used to talk to her every day. All of a sudden, you get in touch with her. She say, you know, I just been with Rashawn. Me and him just been laying low. Me and him just been chilling. Yeah, bitch, you don't fuck with your friends no more because you're getting that little dingling in your life. You need to calm down. What's up, Sherry L? Yeah, I know how the conversation with y'all go. They do me the same way. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Kiss the Coco, baby. You say you here every day now. Thank you so much, baby. Welcome back into the fold. So let me stress you out. Show now. Kiss the Sitch Game, baby. I got to ask you now. We got we do a relationship conundrum where everybody chiming on some important shit in this girl relationship. Sneak flirt versus over flirt, whichever one y'all pick is no right or wrong answer. It's just the ultimate ultimatum. Type in the one that you would like to more like, because you wouldn't like to have now one of them. Type in the one which you would more likely to be able to tolerate in the comments. Thank you, because the kids you said, I want that necklace to it and it light up. You already know, kids the Coco. I got, I, damn, I'm supposed to live with the motherfucker. Uh, I got these in the link in my bio, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, go to the link in my bio. You can copy these from my website at comedianboogiebeat.live. Thank you so much. What's up, Jason? You say the show is on point, big brother. Thank you so much, Jason. That boy, them new all. We just had a same sip for you, my boy. Guy, don't worry about it. Let me ask you this, uh, Jason. Hold up. Hold on, is, is Jeff still in there? Jay and Jeff still in there? What's up, Sherry L? I need you, baby. Yeah, Sherry, you been in there, baby. Get your groove on. All y'all do me a favor and share that live right there. Do me a favor, share that live right now. Get some more people to come check out this fire ass show I'm doing for y'all every day, five days a week. I need some type of support. If you ain't got no money to hit that cash app, at least put somebody else on my page. So I can have two people to try to, you know, donate from. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank y'all on YouTube for watching as well, because y'all know this broadcast is live right now on YouTube and Facebook. So if you're on YouTube, I appreciate your uh, support. Do the same. Hit that cash app. Go to the link in my bio on my Facebook or your, on my Instagram. They tag on every video. Thank y'all so much. Brandon Beverly was good, brother. Yeah. Now, this is what happened, brother. My boogie inboxed me and said, boogie, hold on, Renee Jackson. I miss you, baby. Miss you, sister girl. Let me see. Flirting is a part of life. You get what you need. No harm, no foul. You're right. Just do it where I don't see it. I don't mind you flirt. But don't be disrespectful flirting in front of me. Don't you dare do that. Hold on, I can't handle that. Dominique Lee, you say it don't matter whether it's open or 
it's about how far your partner will take it. Ah, hell no, it ain't about that. I know you ain't gonna take it far, but don't do it in front of me then. Shit, you know you ain't about to fuck that nigga, your eyes fucking him, you're looking him up and down, you're trying to pull your titty, push your fingers up. Don't do all that in front of me. Do that when I'm not here. Act normal around, you know, without all that extra shit when, when I'm around. Because I know you ain't going to do nothing because I trust you. You just flirting. Okay, you're a flirting person. But don't flirt in front of me. Flirt while I'm gone. Those other niggas don't seem to feel like they disrespecting me. You know how the male ego is. See, that nigga looking at me like, look at old bitch ass nigga, his old lady all on me. <laughs> looking at old bitch ass comedy nigga over there. He over there cracking up the motherfucking joke. Look at his old lady. Yeah, old lady eyes fucking me over here. Why he over there telling me a goddamn D D I These niggas be flat trying to play your role out here sometimes. Don't put don't put me in that position with these I don't know these fools out here. You have people looking at me crazy, hell no. Know. Hey, now my boogie inboxed me and said she was in a she was in a good relationship with a man. They've been together for a little minute, you know. She been he been staying at her house, you know. Just for a minute, you know, they've been staying together, kind of. He still got his own place, but, you know, they've been staying together, doing it, blah, 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 living a good life together, right? When they check for the whole lot, though. Here come the conundrum of the day. The conundrum of the day is, she said, well, you know, I need you to, you know, kind of just, I would like for you to just go, you know, to your house for a little while. Let's just have a little space, you know, and then, so I can, so I can, so I can evaluate the relationship. That's what she told a nigga. Ooh, she hit him with that one two, Dominique. She hit him with that one two, Dominique. She said, "How about we have some faith? Just you know, you just go to your house for a while. To, you know, let me just think over the relationship, see what we doing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, baby, relationship faith." What would you do if your old lady asked you for some space for a few days? And guess what? She done asked for that space. But now she's saying the nigga ain't asking the phone no more. Huh? What's up, Robin Smith Ace? Oh, I got another Robin in here. Robin GC, what's up, baby? I got two Robins, Robin Hayes and Robbie GC, baby. What's up, Sherrielle? Sherrielle says she fucking Darnell Jones. Oh, oh, what kind of blank? What, what? Renee Jackson, okay, Renee Jackson. Yeah, thank you so much for coming, baby. Let me see. You got to catch me up. Okay. Yeah, we'll catch you up, okay, uh, Kizzy. Kizzy, she asked, my book at inbox and said she asked for some space, and now he ain't answering the phone. What should she do? That's what she want to know. It's just what y'all gonna tell her, what y'all think she should, how y'all think she should handle this. Thank you so much, Robin Smith, baby. I appreciate that. Yeah, hey, I'm over here trying to give New Orleans hood history, trying to give the living stretch to our road every day. And I'm up here standing on the live talking to the people every day, five days a week. Come on, I'm putting in the work. I deserve something, goddamn it. This is the Let Me Stretch You Out Show Live. What, what y'all telling me? I'm trying to get advice. We just gather together and we help other people in their way of thinking on the Let Me Stretch You Out Show. That's all we doing. We just trying to suggest and give them some ideology. Yeah. Frederica said, give them some space. She asked for it so she can't be mad if he's honoring her wish. Hmm. My vice president is in the comments. Y'all see it. Hold on. Vice president said he gave her what she wanted. My book at nine. Listen, I ain't never told you to do this. I ain't never told any of y'all to ask for some relationship space before. I ain't never said that. I would never suggest that to you. But since you done already did it, since you done already did it, he put her in time out, Robbie GC said. Okay, Kizzy said, I'm not being mean. You just hurt your own feelings. Oh, well, you know. Hey, yep. He just, I mean, you just kind of, you know, when you do shit like say some give me space, all that shit, get some clutch words you can say out here. He giving you space, all right. 
<laughs> Be careful what you ask for. Yeah, and you gonna talk about something? You about to reevaluate the relationship and all that shit? Hey, you can't tell nobody that sometimes. They might take it for a little, you know, they might get upset. And asking for what they don't even work in the movies. Kissy said, even in the movies, asking for space is a bad idea. Yeah. There's key for buy, Sherry L. Ooh, Sherry L said, somebody asked for space, that usually means buy. Robin, Robin Hayes said, enough space will have you single again. Yep. Jason said, I wish you would tell me, give, give him some space. You give Jason some space, you gonna give him some space for him to sling that dick in. Shoot, that's the only space you better be given. Because if you give him some space, I'm like, you need to go to your house for a few days. Let me reevaluate the relationship, Jason, because you've been staying over here. We've been up here kicking it or whatever for a few months now or whatever, but I feel like I just need some space to think over things. And then guess what? When you try to call that man, that man ain't pick up the phone. You're going to wonder why. Bonnie Bella said, yes, yeah, she popped and stepped in, pooped and stepped in it. Yeah, she did. Let me see. Frederica says, since he probably moved on. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. Shawana Shank said, if you want space, you better look in a uh, telescope or something. <laughs> look for a big old apartment. Get you the most space in the house. Let's go in one room before in the other room. Yeah. Frederica said, you done gave that man space. He done moved on on you. Now, that could possibly happen, ladies and gentlemen. That's why I caution y'all. Anytime, male or female, if you ask somebody for space or you say, let's take a break or you say, let's take let's take some time, a lot of y'all try to replace the word space and break with time. And when you say, oh, let's just take some time, take some time, my ass, you better be prepared for that person to slang some bird. She probably thought he, he'd be over the phone crying over her. Yep, mind games. See, that's what happened, Brandy Beverly. When you start doing stuff like that, it kind of feel like you're playing games with somebody. And when you're playing games with somebody, you can expect games to be played on your end. Robin G. C. from Galveston County, baby, says some woman, oh wait, some woman somewhere was trying to get his attention and now he has time to entertain her. Ooh. Tiffany, Tiffany, Tiffany Shaw said, imagine being com commit, <clears throat> wait a minute, imagine being committed and asking for space. That's not how a relationship works. God damn right. She already done made a mistake. But now what should she do though? Since he ain't picking up, he ain't really responding or whatever. So now what should she do? Ladies and gentlemen, because we all know what the problem could be. And what the problem was, why we didn't got like this, because we don't suggest no space in relationship. Most of us know better than that. If you're going to take some space, you better not say it. You better just walk and just get your own space and just breathe for a while. By the time they ask you what's going on, you can just get back together. Yeah, what's up, Aaron? Yeah, Aaron Ridgeon here. Ridge, 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 Ridge. Aaron Ridgeon. What's that is Aaron Ridgeon? I ain't no history teacher. I just don't walk. Uh, hey, ask me the history on Pennsylvania. I bet y'all don't know it. <laughs> You can't call me no history teacher now. I just don't want something. You better have a New Orleans hood history class for me to teach. Other than that, don't have me teaching no whole history class. I'm going to be telling you not a white man came over. <laughs> I ain't going to be no good teacher because I am not objective. <laughs> What's that, Tiffany? She says you better pull. Pull up or take her lick. Oh, wow. So you saying you better keep calling and then, then pull up over there. Yeah, if you want your space, y'all both need to separate corners for the house. Take time out. No space. This ain't NASA. Kids say this ain't no damn NASA shit. Um, Robin Smith here said master class on no other history. Hell yeah. Y'all saw that last one I just put out? The Bourbon Orleans Hotel is coming tonight on Facebook 
and YouTube tonight. The Bourbon Bowling Hotel, New Orleans Hood History Lesson, is coming up to this evening. It's already posted on my TikTok because they get it first. I'm sorry, they just do. But I will have post that video on my Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube tonight at uh, about 10 p.m. So stay up. Let me see. Hey, Russell, the sauce says, send them a four page letter. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how you come back from this. That's why I'm asking y'all. Ooh, that Rochambeau, baby. Uptown. You already know I know about that Rochambeau. I call that bitch the Rochambeau, baby. <laughs> that Rochambeau, baby. That's where they use that, you know. <laughs> yeah, ain't no breaks. Go outside and grab water. Yep, damn right. So don't take breaks. Don't make space in your relationship. Because when you make space in your relationship, bad fans can get into that space. Now, if you, if you done gave somebody space and they ain't picking up your phone, all you can do is be patient, ladies and gentlemen. That's really all you can do. Ain't no coming back, Frederica. Sure. I mean, it is some coming back sometimes. Because sometimes that person may just take a little longer to get back to you or get back to where they was. If y'all was really in love or y'all was really meant to be together, then y'all, that space won't kill y'all, it'll just slow y'all down. So, if y'all was really meant to be together, you see what I'm saying? So, let me see. Maria Davis did break it bad. All right. Let me see. Bonnie Miller says, send him free. Frederica said, he's coming back with some baggage. <laughs> yeah, y'all know what happens sometimes. You give a nigga some stuff, I need space. And there's a girl named Magnolia Shea on the way. You understand me? Hey, Magnolia Shea got a dog whistle for when you break up with a good nigga. It's a Magnolia Shea in every hood, baby. Trust me. I don't care if you live in a white neighborhood. It's a girl that ain't named Magnolia Shea, but she just like the Magnolia Shea I know. It's a girl named Magnolia Shea. She be waiting on a good nigga to come free. She live in that project. She live good. She take care of niggas. She will let you do a lot of shit on her. She will let you get away with she as long as you not cheating on her. She ain't gonna trip. She a real easy to get along with. All this, she ain't that cute. Oh, hold on with Jason. I ain't never say that she was gonna be that cute. Man. She she may not be as cute as your lady, but that that girl gonna put up with some shit. Magnolia Shay is on the way. Soon as y'all get ready, soon as some of these ladies get, I need some space. I need some space. Yes, I need space. No, you've been doing good. You haven't done anything wrong, but we just been up under each other for a month. You've been over here for a month. I just need some space. You know, just go to your house for a little while. I'll call you. Yeah, Magnolia Shay heard you. She picked up that phone and called that nigga the next night. After he was sad and lonely, that nigga was crying and everything, thinking about you. That nigga was at his house holding his bird, sad, listening to something, and then something about you, love, that made me weak and knocked me off my feet. That nigga was at home, sad, because you told him to get some sweet. Magnolia Shay called that nigga that night, that next night, and said, hey, I heard something happened with you and your old lady. Did y'all break up? You like, damn, that just happened last night. How you heard that? Don't worry about it. She got the plug on knowing when a good nigga done fell to a midway point where she could capitalize on it. She, hey, that's why she got all them churn. Magnolia Shay got all them churn because niggas be going through problems. And Magnolia Shay don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't do it. I'm trying to tell y'all, don't do it. In all seriousness, space in a relationship is needed. It makes the heart go go farther. No, it's a difference between asking for space and then just creating space in the relationship. If you create space in a relationship, that's simply by working or simply by going to school or simply by being busy and taking, you know, take care of your family, doing what you got to do. That is space. 
But when you come to somebody and say, I need space to X, Y, Z about the relationship, you just created a border wall. You just created a, a, a hindrance in the relationship. And so once you do that and you reach back out to that person, like, hey, Sherry, I know I asked for the space, baby, but I'm ready to, I'm ready to get back. I just wanted to hit you and, you know, see what you was up to. And you won't pick up? Well, all Boogie B can do is just wait on you. I don't want created that space. And now you ain't picking up the phone or you may be feeling some type of way. You are allowed to feel that type of way. So, but if you do decide to pick up the phone and y'all get back together, you already know what the consequences may be. The consequences of if you let a nigga fall victim to magnolia shape, she may get pregnant. She may fall in love with him and you might have to fight her to get him back. That doesn't happen to plenty of y'all. Yeah, trust me. All kind of shit. The more space that you create, the worse this situation could get. And now when you reaching out for the... Hold on. I know Facebook user. I don't know what your name is on here. I never did share a lie. Who was Facebook user? Oh, that's um Camille. What's happening, baby? You missed the whole first part? Go back and watch it. I'm going to post it. It's on my YouTube and my Facebook. Just go back and watch it. It's going to be posted up there. Maria Davis, I would never personally ask for space like my book had did. She asked for space. Now she reaching out to her nigga. He ain't picking up. She wants to know what to do. The only thing I can tell you to do, baby, is be patient. Don't go over there stalking that man like some of these book ads in here told you to do. Don't go pull up on him. That shit ain't gonna work. You gonna pull up on him and find him fucking a bitch. You better be careful. Don't put, pull up on somebody. You the one told that man to get some space. He thought space meant coochie. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't go, don't go trying to track him down, going to his job, all that bullshit. Just wait. That's all you can do. Just wait. Patience is a virtue, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to have to let him come back around to you because you done already made a mistake and let him get space. Now you got to hope that space brings him back to you because if you go try to force it and try to make him come back after he don't want you to bring it back no more because you said you wanted space to reevaluate the relationship, he don't want you no more. If he don't, you don't, you shouldn't try to convince him to come back to you. You got to let him want to come back to you. Therefore, the relationship might last. Because again, ladies, remember, men dictate the relationship. Y'all just hold a coochie. Men dictate whether the relationship goes well or not. And it ain't going to go well if you up here telling him he needs space. And then you're going to go stalk him down, track him down, and chase him down. They get him back. You shouldn't have said nothing about no damn thing. Hey, you should. You don't, you got to take your L. And if you do chase him down, stalk him down, and get him back, and he got a baby on you, then that's just what happens to you. You shouldn't have did that. You know what it is. You shouldn't have damn. Hey, that's just what it is. You got to take your lick sometime, ladies. Be responsible for your actions. If you ask that man for some space, and that man go get somebody pregnant because he's sad and lonely. That's all. Yeah. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. you could be more mad about it if he asks for the space. But you can't really be mad about it too much if you ask for the space. Hey, Brandon Beverly, you damn right. You better talk to him, Robbie GC. You better tell him. Let, let his VM have him because you about to get all the smoke. Yeah. Yes. Let me tell you something. When you get him back, you, you might not even want him back. So that's another thing why you shouldn't even take no space from your man. Because if you got to stalk him back and call him, keep calling him to get him to pick up. Did he finally pick up and he don't really want to talk to you because he's mad that you did that to him. All you can do is be patient. Your man from the behind your back is telling something to you. Oh, okay, okay. That's, that's about to be something bad. Him and her on the break. Oh, your man be flirting Flirting behind your back is telling some chick at the bar. I don't know why they Anyways, if mine asks for space, we are done. The tongue is a powerful thing, Brandon Beverly said. Yeah. Didn't think it through, but sometimes you do be feeling like you want space in the relationship. 
But should you ask for that? Or should you just be patient and ride that out to see where that patient, I mean, to, to see how you feel at the Hawaii? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sherry L said when she want to break up, she play that uh, where I want to be. And let my baby girl in the face say I am in love, ready to be She will be pulling things around me. Oh, you play that way I want to be. Trying. Okay, that's a good one to drop it, you know. Let me see. Critical thinking is our friend beyond the mess. Yeah, that's why y'all got to be more patient. With y'all be patient is the key to the relationship, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I can really tell y'all. Either you're going to be patient while you're in the relationship, or you're going to be patient trying to get your relationship back. Either way, patience is going to be a fact. Yeah, I put a woman through a lot of shit. I ain't going to lie. She's also done her shit. Okay, but it don't compare to my wrongdoing. But yet, she still keeps me. Why? I, it gets deeper, but I had to keep it short. Okay, yeah, Dominique, I mean, you know, we'll talk about that another day. <laughs> I mean, but it's a, it ain't no question of why. It just ain't too many good niggas left out here. You won, and you know, that should be hard to get over sometimes. It should be hard for a woman to get over a good nigga. You done did, yeah, yeah, if these niggas done did worse shit than you done did, you done did. And niggas be getting took back and took back and took back and took back. The least your woman could do is for the little shit you done did. There's niggas out here punching the women in their stomach. They woman still come back to them. All the police on this woman get her locked up. She still come back to them. You ain't did that. Shit. You be like, look, let me slide. I ain't, ain't, ain't really even put no dick on nobody. Shit. Whatever the case may be, as long as ain't that bad, she could, she'll take you back and she loves you. Yeah. Thank you, Kissy Coco. Thank y'all so much for coming to the Let Me Stretch You Out show. Dominique, thank you for coming, brother. I need you every day. I need more of my boogie bros in here to hold it down so they know I ain't in here just making up shit. This is the Let Me Stretch You Out show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here five days a week. I'm here five days a week and I need all y'all to come. Frederica, thank you so much, boogie. I appreciate you. Yeah. Sherry I appreciate you. Uh, Bonnie Mellon, I appreciate you. Amy Ross, I appreciate you. Robbie, you know I appreciate you. Um, let me see. Bonnie Mellon, thank you so much. All y'all got some stars, some badges. It's that cash app. Support the show. Show love to the show. Comment on it even after I post it and you done saw it. Post it right there. If you ever see anything on my page, make sure you comment on it. Make Make sure you like it. Make sure you tag somebody in it if you enjoyed it. Thank y'all so much for coming to the Let Me Stretch You Out show. It's your boy, comedian, Boogie Feet, and you all the representative, and I'm out of here, y'all. I'm going to see y'all on tomorrow. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow this time. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow for sure. I, hey, I be, I tell y'all, I'm here every day. Everybody taking their time with y'all like that. Come on, Camille. I'll see y'all tomorrow. You said if you just want to be single, just say that. Okay, yeah, well. Thank you so much. What did I say? Shandell, Shandell Moore. Thank you so much, baby. I will meet you as soon as we're in the same city together at the same time. I will meet all of y'all. But until then, I need y'all here every day where I can talk to you and keep y'all one accord. Well, all right, Dominique Lee. Thank you so much, Vice President, for producing one hell of a show. Pack us up. We're getting up out of here. I'll see y'all tomorrow.